Hello guys and welcome back to Crafting with Samantha Jo. In today's video I'm going to be discussing a project that I'm going to be working on and a little giveaway that I'm going to be having. Um, in what I'm going to be talking about is a December daily and I got my inspiration from for this from Lolly Palooza on YouTube and I will link her information down below. And so what today I'm going to be telling you if you want to make this project yourself what you'll be needing to make the project. I'm going to be making two, one for myself and one to give to one of you guys. To win the one at the end in every video that I'm going to be posting, I'm going to be hiding a little animal in the video and you will have to tell me on the last video what animals I hid throughout the videos and the first person to get them all right will win the book. I am shooting for the beginning of November uh, middle or probably middle of November to get it um, done and get it shipped out that way you will have it before December 1st so what a December daily is, it's going to be the 25 days including Christmas leading in December leading up to Christmas and you will use it basically as a journal. So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be telling you what you'll need to complete the project. I also got this idea of this little um, getting like all your stuff together for the project. Um, let me tilt the camera up here. Um, together, that way you will have it, um, all together in one area. And it'll be a lot easier for you to find. So, in this video, um, I'm going to be using a, um, six inch paper pad. That was also an idea by Lollipalooza. And, um, so what you'll need first is your six inch paper pad. So that is what I have back here. I am using this, um, Woodland Wonderland paper pad from the paper studio, which is Hobby Lobby's brand. And it has 48 designs. So it has 16 different pages, three, um, it has 48 sheets, 16 different designs, and three pages each. And so I'll be using this. Plus, I bought some other cardstock to go with it. I bought four sheets of the Paper Studio glitter paper. I bought in gold, a light green, a a uh, red and a dark green and I think I'm going to pick up a silver um I got this one it was 50% off so this paper is one dollar a sheet I'm also going to be picking up some um just some red and green cardstock because as you see it's 16 pages and I'll need um some extra pages for it you can have the white pages this one also has some cut aparts in it and we'll, I'll be using these to embellish some of these pages. I thought it was really cute. I do have two other paper pads. Um, I just liked this one the best. And so you will need to pick out your cover and all that stuff. Also, you will need to a piece of cardboard. You can use a cereal box and that is what I'm going to use to stabilize the cover. My next video will be of me making the cover. Also what I have here just sitting on my desk because it won't really fit in this caddy, caddy is a bunch of different embellishment things that I can add to it. Some wood veneers and stickers. 
all these came from the Dollar Tree in their Christmas section. I just put it in one of these Dollar Tree cases that I've shown in my other videos. Also what I have in here is I have some twine and I just have the whole packet in here because I didn't want to take it apart. But mainly I'm just probably going to be using the gold, the green, and the red. And then I also have this one in here because this green kind of goes with the green of the Christmas. It's more of a, a lighter Christmas. It's not the dark colors. I have some bows in here because they would go well. Just kind of things that you can in use to embellish. I have this ribbon which I have a good idea that I'm going to be using. Um, well it's really it's trim. I got it for 74 cents um, at Hobby Lobby. I also have this trim that I'm going to be using um, also from Hobby Lobby. This trim also from Hobby Lobby. This is in their paper craft section. Then I have these trim laces in reds and greens and I got these from my sister when I was back home you probably seen it in a video I have my we are memory keepers I believe this is we are memory keepers I'm pretty sure it is um one inch uh hole stabilizer to put around the holes of the paper I also have these these are more of acrylic um things and these are jemmies um, these ones fit inside the container and so I have these to use as embellishments. I have these mini bows in the red and green. Um, I have two packets of them in here. Probably don't need both packets. I have some felt, uh, stickers also from the Dollar Tree. So even if you don't have a lot of stuff, you can get a lot of this right from the Dollar Tree. I have my winter Christmas stickers in here. I am going to be picking up some more um, Christmas uh, stickers. Are If they're in the Christmas section, they're 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to be picking up some. Not a ton, just some to use as embellishments. And I also have some ephemera in here from one of the kits that I got that I've shown. This is an empty thing so I can put my scraps of paper in here. This is chipboard accents and um, I put that in here. I don't know if I'll be using these because they are the darker Christmas colors where my thing is going to be more of the lighter colors of Christmas. Also, um, I have different size washies in here that are different kinds of Christmas colors. Um, I even have some gold in here, some glitter, silver, some rose gold it looks like. Um, just different washies um, that I could potentially use and that's what this thing is full of. Um, I also have this Christmas present ribbon I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. I also have a snowflake one somewhere that I will most likely be using in this project as well. And so that is what I have ready for my project. I am going to be picking up some other, like I said, stickers and I'll show those um, in the next video, in the cover video when I post it. You're also going to need a hole punch to punch out the circles in the card in the cover because you'll use rings to bind it so you also need two binder rings you can get them actually dollar tree has some i seen the last time i was there i didn't get any because i have quite a bit um this is the punch board i'm going to be using to punch my holes it's the we are memory keepers punch and this we memory comfort keepers thing fits perfectly with these punches so that i work perfect of course it's not in my thing uh you may need a scoreboard to score some of your papers we're gonna add be adding pockets um i might add some mini envelopes um and stuff so i will be coming back and showing you how i make stuff 
I'm going to be trying to be posting these daily, but depending on uh, my work schedule and how many videos I can get done, I will, based on that, but I will keep you all updated on my Facebook, on my Instagram, um, stuff like that. So keep your eye out, and like I said, I'm going to be making two of them. I'll probably only make one on the camera and I'll make the other one in my spare time. That way we don't have to sit through me making two of them. And then one of you will be a winner. And like I said, to win it, you'll have to spot the animals in the video and You'll have to tell me what kind of animal it is. You'll probably have to zoom in a little bit to kind of see what kind of animal it is. Today's video has one in it. And don't comment down below what animal it is. Because then that will ruin your chances of winning. So you just want to make sure you keep track of the videos I think there's probably going to be about six possibly maybe a little more and so just keep your eyes out make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel and oh yeah I have some other stuff over here that I forgot I also have some um this is sequence that I might be using I might make a shaker for inside of it so that's gonna go inside here so yep that's all thank you for watching